the top of Yodelton Church, a sight that's not long for the skies in this part of the world in Royal Navy service, that of the Westland Sea King. It's incredible to think that the Sikorsky S61 on which the Westland Sea King was based first flew as far back as March 1959 and it was Ten years later, May 1969, when the first seeking HAS-1 anti-submarine helicopter for the Royal Navy took to the air. Westland at Yeovil having entered into a licensed production agreement with the American manufacturer Sikorsky. It was selected as a replacement in the anti-submarine role for the venerable Westland Wessex. Of course, it was also used extensively by the RAF as a search and rescue platform until retirement in 2015. Sevens were the last Sea Kings left in UK military service. They're being retired, however, at the end of September this year. The new capability is being embodied in a Lockheed Martin-led project, Project Crow's Nest, in the Merlin Mark II fleet, and that in future will be a vital element of the protection of the new Queen Elizabeth-class carriers and the rest of the fleet. But these venerable Sea Kings have remained very active. On New Year's Day this year, Seeking ASAC 7s flying from the Royal Fleet Auxiliary vessel RFA Fort Rosalie were scrambled to search for a suspected drug running vessel in the Indian Ocean. The crew guided a Royal Australian Navy frigate to it. The boarding crew discovered more than three and a half tons of illegal drugs on board. Earlier this year, 849 Squadron made its final two week deployment to mainland Europe with one of its helicopters operating from Leobarden to direct Royal Netherlands Air Force F 16s over the North Sea and the Northern Netherlands. Now, the seeking era is coming to an end in the UK military after nearly 50 years. This is the last public flying display by one of the baggers before retirement. Being 
flown in very spirited fashion for us by the crew from 849 NAS. The crew headed by the unit's senior pilot, Lieutenant Commander Ian Chudley, who previously flew the Seeking in Rescue guys with 771 Naval Air Squadron, and he's been a flying instructor on Eurocopter Squirrels with the Defence Helicopter Flying School at Shawbury. Also on board, the squadron's senior observer, Lieutenant Commander Serena Davidson, who's been performing that role since 2005 and has more than 2,200 hours on the Mark 7 Seeking, and Lieutenant Ben Carthy, another former search and rescue Seeking pilot with 771 Squadron. When the Seekings are retired at the end of September, Lieutenant Commander Chudley, who was flying that display, will take over as Lieutenant Commander flying on board HMS Queen Elizabeth. Lieutenant Commander Davidson will take up a desk job at the Ministry of Defence in London, and Lieutenant Carthy will join the Overton Base 727 Squadron on the Grob Tutor. The aircraft that was in the display today was first flown as a Mark VI anti-submarine variant in 1980. Uh, Mark V it would have been then, but later upgraded to Mark VI standard. It was converted to Mark VII ASAC configuration in 2000.